It was a textbook that Harry Potter used at school. During the writing of that textbook, I became quite interested in the ostensible author, Newt Scamander. And of all the characters in Potter who were just a name, he was the one who took on quite a bit of life in my mind. Newt's been travelling the world studying magical creatures. His ambition is he, he, he wants to write the book, he wants to write Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. He wants people to understand how remarkable these creatures are and he wants to educate the public and stop them killing them. A very laudable design, one would say. But Newt being Newt, he can't resist if he finds something that's injured or endangered taking it with him. So over time, this case has become effectively a, a portable animal hospital slash safari park for endangered species. If you haven't got tension, if you haven't got conflict, you haven't got a story. Newt's in an alien environment on so many levels. It's America and he's British. He doesn't really understand how the magical world works here and he accidentally opens a case full of magical creatures in the middle of New York in arguably the most hostile place he could have done this. It's, you know, so he's, he's blundered hugely and he's walked into a situation that he doesn't understand at all. Something that has implications for the whole wizarding world. Something he gets caught up in. So uh, all of that's massive fun to write. You start with four pretty ill-assorted people with very different agendas. Newt simply wants to get his creatures back in that case and get out of there. Tina is involved in something bigger, but she's a demoted aura, so she shouldn't really be messing around with these things, and yet is compelled to. Queenie is a sweetheart who is in many ways the glue of the group. She just, she doesn't, she's a nice person. And uh, then you've got Jacob, who increasingly is fascinated by what's happening and wants to stick with them. But it is the friendship that develops between the four of them that is the most important thing in the movie. I was thrilled David Yates wanted to do it. He's just the nicest man who ever walked the earth. He's great. He understands the world and the material so well. We've always got on so well and, and we worked together, I think, really well. And David Heyman, you know, he was there right from the beginning. He was right from the beginning. Uh, I, we go back such a long way. It was, um, I couldn't really imagine doing it without him.